Oh boy, Jared Dudley called Ben Simmons averaging half court offense, and he's a great player in transition. Now, John B wasn't playing tonight, so Ben Simmons had a lot to prove against Jared Dudley. Jared Dudley. The thing about Jared Dudley is, I don't think he has no business to talk about how good a player he is because he's not that good. I mean, he's making an impact on the next season, being a veteran presence and all that. But he's not good. Come on now. He's not even close to Ben Simmons. And if he's an average player, Ben Simmons, what does that make Jared Dudley in the half court? Yeah. So, you know, Ben Simmons, I'm not even a Ben Simmons fan. Ben Simmons came out sparking. Not sparking like shooting, but he just making a lot of layups, a lot of dunks. Playing great defense. He had three blocks, nine rebounds, four assists. He been balling, man. He finished with 31 points on 11 for 13 shooting. Only missed two shots. That's not average. That's not even good. That's great. Especially as a 22-year-old in the playoffs. Come on now. The thing is, he was mocking and doing, like, passive shots towards Jared Dudley in the game. Like, Jared Dudley airballed a wide open three. Ben Simmons put his hands up. And then Jared Dudley tried to argue a call. And Ben was, like, looking at him like, what? What? I'm not a Ben Simmons fan, but I'm glad that he had a bounce back game like this, especially when everything was on the line and you know, they were on the road. Ben Simmons or D'Angelo Russell and the Nets had momentum and John B wasn't playing and Tobias Harris wasn't showing up, but he showed up today. I think he had five for five three point shooting. Jimmy Butler, they all showed up. Greg Monroe was their starting center and they still blew the Nets out. So he nice, man. Ben Simmons is nice and he way better than average than Jared Dudley in the half court offense. I don't know why he would say that. Um, he a dog, though. And, you know, I respect that. You know, come out with a bounce back game, especially like this. You know, Ben Simmons kind of been passive. These playoffs, I don't know what it is. He's trying to get everybody involved because I get it. You know, he's on a team with four other people around him that can score. Ben Simmons has to know, well, I can score too. I'm a 6'10 point guard who can run fast and I'm the biggest guy on the court. He's like LeBron James downhill, man. I'm telling you. And JD, Jared Dudley, I guess he poked a bear, man. And the bear awoke. You know what I'm saying? Even it's more impactful because Joe Embiid is out. Not a lot of people are saying, well, Joe Embiid is the reason why Ben Simmons can't score because he closed the paint. Blah blah blah. But Greg Monroe closed the paint too. That's just the narrative people try to pull. They try to say Ben Simmons and Joe Embiid can't coexist because they're both because Ben Simmons needs shooters around him. Which is which is true, but I think Ben Simmons has enough shooters around him. I don't think you need a stretch five to have the shooters that you need. If everybody else can shoot, they're good. Tobias, JJ. Even Jimmy can hit some corner threes. So next time you say something, JT, bro, keep it to yourself. Because why would you say that? And I know Ben Simmons is young, but he's still an all-star. He's probably a top 30 player in the NBA right now. He's His team is a third seed, you know, and he's a 6'10 point guard. There's nothing average about that. But that'll be all for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, anything else you want to see. I'm out. Peace. Hey, subscribe. Please press that subscribe button, bro. Please, I'm out. Peace.